Hey everyone, welcome to Silent Hill's Blaken Guide, part 76. Oh, here he is, Mr. Big. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't play innocent with us. I tried that when Father caught me with Nanny. He gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get to the point. Someone stole our boxing trophies, buddy. They were heirlooms. Well, it wasn't me, rich boy, so relax. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I bet it was those grease balls. I know it. They've always hated us. And so much for peace in our time, Popper. Just great. Let's get them. Yes. It's time to teach those poor, disrespectful scum a lesson. Wait, relax. Maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was someone else. Nobody hates us. Apart from them. Oh, yeah, they do. Everyone hates you. You're all awful. Oh, la-dee-da. Now he tells us. You are pathetic, Hopkins. You're not a leader. Out of my way. Come on, men. Let's go. Okay. It's war. Hold on. Wait here. I'll go get your trophy back from those grease balls. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that or not, but that was my mom. Anyway, um, okay, so it doesn't just get back on your bike and ride over to uh, New Coventry, and you'll be going towards that little um, alley nook thing between the buildings, the so, uh, one where you had to climb on the dumpsters to get that card. Yeah, you'll be heading over to the same area. steal the preppy's trophies no way man after the town he's been saying all that stuff about lola and made johnny crazy we don't care about those stuck-up jerks the townies really yeah and johnny says you're no friend of ours anymore but since you got him out i'll let you walk away from this meeting well since i already beat you i guess i believe you Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's, now do it says to go to the warehouse in Blue Skies area. Um, this one, I guess you can either, uh, sneak by or beat him up or something like that. Get in there, you little sucker! Of course, me, I just run by a mob. Pretty easy. Anyway, then hope you don't get rabies. go up there and take a picture of them between the rats and the crate. They get another crate of rats. <laughs> All the little nerds running around screaming like girls. Okay, so after you leave the uh, warehouse area, just head right over to the dock.
and head over to the end of the dogs, to the area where you uh, destroyed the last gnome. But this time, of course, instead of pulling out your slingshot, pull out your camera. Just take a picture of them. Like, um, with the trophies on fire. So, just beat up this guy first to tell it to you. Yeah, so now I'll just return all the way back to uh, the boxing ring building. Well, Popper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fund babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that annoyed the hell out of me. Anyway, so yeah, you get thirty dollars for it. Okay, Jimmy so comes through again. now what we're finally gonna do. I mean, I know we could still do like who did that? Um, who did that? Or you know, wait to do a couple more errands or whatever you want to. But you should have enough money right now. But we're gonna finally buy all the clothes, and of course, I'm gonna. Speed it up. Hello. So, so you Can don't I have to watch me purchase every single clothing item. But you need at least, uh, or well, around uh, 2,900 and uh, excuse me, sorry, uh, 2,900 and something dollars, like maybe fifty dollars or something like that, um, minus what you took from the lockers. Because you should have more than enough. Yeah, so yeah, um, 
The first, first one is in Aquaberry. The second one is the school shop. Of course, I don't think I'll be able to fit it on here, so I'm probably going to have to cut it off pretty soon. So, um, yeah. I'll go ahead and talk to you on the next vid.